Hello, you're listening to the URBMN interview with Kenny Hotz of Triumph of the Will. Kenny Hotz' Triumph of the Will will debut July 22nd on Action. Now, if you don't know what Action is, it's a channel that used to be called Showcase Action. It's one of those Category 2 channels that debuted in 2001. Really kind of a burial for the show. At least that's my opinion. Shaw Media might not think so, but I don't know. This isn't the first interview I've done with Kenny Hotz to promote this show. You won't be able to get to hear the first interview, and neither will I, because I was recording it on a mini disc, and I accidentally deleted it from the mini disc. And of course, if you've had a mini disc, you know you can't recover files once you've deleted them. So we're all shit out of luck. Now, I'm not sure how good this uh, second interview is, and I wasn't sure if I was going to present it, but I decided I might as well. Because, to be quite honest, Kenny Hot sounds like he's a pro at this kind of thing. And he sounds a lot less stiff in interviews than me. So here he is, Kenny Hotz. How do you feel about uh, debuting on action and not showcase? Um, well, look, you know, I'd rather be debuting on APC. So, uh, you know, but to me, I think the world's totally changed. I think a channel's a channel now. You know, what am I, you know, what am I supposed to say? Um, uh, uh, another company purchased uh, my broadcaster's company, and they're not as edgy as the previous, you know, broadcaster. So, you know, welcome to the wonderful world of television. You know, it's uh, it's, it's that kind of be careful what you wish for type of thing. You know, the reality is, um, you know, Kenny versus Penny was on GSN. And people found us there in the States. So, um, yeah, look, I'm sure I'm pissed it's not, uh, you know, Fox prime time. But, um, you know, it's something. you got to be humbled by this business. It's uh, very difficult, you know, if you're, not, if you're not doing everything in your power to try and, you know, fulfill um, your dream or, 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 you know, your obligations to produce good content then you're fucked anyhow so uh things like that aren't up to me you know i uh i would have slipped my wrist a long time ago if i if i um you know was mad about not getting my you know what i deserve because i personally i think my show is you know the best shows and you know this is a this is um you know an industry where citizen king never got released you know, what fucking hope do you have for anybody that's doing good shit? Well, you, you, look, you tell me, you, like, the, the, you know, the, the type of content, the, the type of content that's coming out, you know, a lot of it's so mediocre and contrived and just, you know, it's like so flaccid. Like, well, you know, what are we all supposed to do? Well, look, I, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest here, all right? You know, it's like, it's, it's, you know, my, my stuff is so abrasive and, and edgy that, you know, I'm lucky anyone will show it. I am, you know, so, you know, I'm a guy that ate fake shit out of a toilet and slipped his friend ass. And, you know, where where am I going to show my stuff? You know, I, actions are the only place with balls that will show it. So what do you think a fan should uh, expect from Kenny Hodges' try for the will? Um, wow. Well... Because I, I, I have uh, seen the, uh, the first episode, uh, Shaw Media uh, gave me a screener. Which one? Which what? Uh, that would be. Uh, uh, can Kenny find his mom? Love. Oh yeah, that's um, the show is very eclectic. Yes. Listen, I've done. You know, I've done a show that should. You know, one of the episodes should you win a palm de or at, at, at Sundance or something, and another one, you know, is the ultimate Kenny versus Benny fan show of all time. You know, uh, like I make. You know, the I do a show Cannibal where, you know, in one of the episodes I try to become a cannibal. That makes anything on Kenny versus Benny look like, uh, you know, romper room. So, so you know, it's a, it's a very, very eclectic series. Um, I don't know if it'll turn on, you know, a lot of Kenny versus Benny fans, but, you know, when I've just spent nine years, like, turning on a bunch of, like, you know, online blogger freaks. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm older and... You know, once you once you do a certain type of genre, I like to kind of evolve. You know, it's it's like you know when you know I was a filmmaker, I made a short film that that did well, and you don't want to do shorts. And then I did a cultish, you know, documentary pitch, and then you don't want to do that. And 
now, you know, I felt like I did a, you know, a, an, you know, a kind of stonery, jackass, Tom Green type series, even though I really feel like it, it was, you know, the first reality sitcom and it had more meaning than that. So then, you know, you kind of not want to do that. And I did Testings, which was a, you know, a zany series. And, uh, you know, I just kind of, I, I kind of feel like I'm checking all this shit off my list. And, you know, now I kind of just wanted to do something that was, uh, you know, broad, that kind of, you know, would work on Fox, you know, or, you know, work with a U.S. broadcaster. And, um, I don't know, like, I love this show. I think it's a hundred times better than Kenny vs. Penny. Not that I don't love Kenny vs. Penny, but it's definitely the best thing I've ever done. Like, to me, personally, I, I fucking love it. Have you uh, tried to sell to the uh, U.S. broadcasters, though? The well, we're currently, yeah, we're currently trying to. But, you know, the same thing. It's a, it's a crapshoot. You know, I, I hope it does. I've been very lucky. I, in fact, I, I've got, you know, horseshoes up my ass. I'm, I'm probably one of the only people in Canada, on your talents in Canada, that's had three series that I've created. You know, I, like I, I, you know, I sold the show to Comedy Central with, you know, Matt Stone, and I sold test these FX on my own. Like, I'm the guy that goes in there and actually actively goes and sells this stuff. Um, but thank God I have, like, you know, Paradigm and E1 with me, which, you know, which totally helps. But, um, yeah, this is a, it's a fucking business, and it's tough. And it's really hard to do what you want. Like, almost impossible. Showcase debuted uh, early on in the year. They debuted almost uh, here. It was in uh, uh, Single White Spenny, which is a... Uh, mm -hmm. But Spencer Rises show. Yeah. I'm just wondering, um, like, have you uh, been able to see those uh, two shows, and uh, uh, what do you think of them exactly? Um, I've seen both shows. Jason Belville was uh, kind of like an assistant writer on Testies, and um, you know, Spenny was kind of an assistant on Kenny versus Spenny. But um, you know, what do I think of those shows? You know, um, they're not really for me, but. Um, <laughs> you know, not a lot is. So, I, you know, it's it's not about what I think of them. It's about what they think of them. You know, what does Spenny and the Belleville think about their show? Um, because it's, it is very, it's an internal art. Doing this stuff is so, you know, it's so difficult. And um, I think they need to kind of just look within themselves and see if they, they're happy with what they did. You know, you can't, it's like when you start worrying about the audience and numbers, It'll make you fucking crazy. So, but um, it's a you know it's a strange business, and and if you don't you know work your ass off, or if you have entitlement and think you deserve what you're getting, it'll bite you in the ass. Let's let's let, let history think of you know what um, you know of those other shows. But again, listen personally, it's like look, I'm a little you know I think. I think um, Trailer Park Boys and my show um, should be totally promoted to the utmost because I think I think me and the Trailer Park Boys shows have the most ability and the most audience, um, you know, the largest community that are beneficial to a broadcaster. So, you know, maybe they feel otherwise. I don't know, but um, you know, I'm happy I'm on on anything. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that people are going to see my shit. 